I mean, leading up to the game, it was the biggest thing. You, know, you get Manchester derbies, obviously, um, that I've played in, and the fans. But leading, the week leading up to that final, everybody knew how important it was to the club. I and mean, there was a lot of doom and gloom around the place. But I'd say the catalyst for that run we went on was, was playing Stoke in between Christmas and New Year. You know, 1 0 down at half time, and then. Um, as I said, we got booed off, and rightly so, at half-time, and it would have been easy for the, the lads to crumble. Um, but we made sure we stuck together, there was a few choice words at half-time, and we went out and ended up winning the game 2-1. And from then on, we thought, you know what, if we can come back from that, we can come back from anything. And that just carried us all the way through to the rest of the season. It looked as if it was going, it was going to go to extra time. And then in the space of five or six minutes, um, obviously we, we found ourselves 2-0 down. And I remember when, when they scored their second, just sort of crouching down in the pitch and looking around and seeing some City fans leave and just thinking that we'd blown it, you know, because leading up to the game all that confident that, that we were going to win. We knew we were up against a good team at the time, but it was just, it was devastating, you know, and then Kevin Horlock scores and gets on 89 minutes. And even when Kevin scored, the Gillingham players were still sort of obviously seeing 90 minutes come up. They were, they were, they were high-fiving each other on the bench or on the pitch. Um, and I remember saying to a few of the lads and they were all saying the same thing, look, We'll get one here because they've switched off now. Um, and then I was the I was a lucky little get to to get the goal. That moment I can't I can't remember now. It's just instinctive and same with the celebration. Can't can't remember. I actually remember. Nicky Weaver's celebration more than I do mine at the time, you know, because you're, you're not involved in it, you're actually not doing it and you're, and you're watching it, but I can't remember a thing about it. I've got to go back to Joe, because I went through um, I went through a spell, I had a few spells in my career where I couldn't hit a barn door, um, and, and Joe worked with me on it, um, and a lot of it was getting the first touch out of my feet and hitting the target. Paul Dickoff, who was best man at Vince Bartram's wedding, and vice versa, can he beat his best man? Honestly, I've never been so confident in my life as I'm taking a penalty. To see it hit the post and go along the line and hit the other post, you know, that, that walk back was just like, is that, has that really happened? You know, I, was, I was devastated, absolutely devastated, you know, because you think you've just got yourself back in it and you just feel as if you've let your teammates down, you've let the club down and you've let the fans down and get the team spirit and the camaraderie we had was, it was unbelievable and it's difficult to explain, you know, if sometimes, and, in a squad of players, you get five or six who go on and um, maybe go out, but not all together. If we went out and done things, well, everybody was there, and we made sure everybody was there. And there was some ridiculous characters in there, um, and with a good laugh. But do you know what? We worked bloody hard as well. It makes me feel old, but it's nearly 18 years ago now, and even now, you know, they just come to come to meet you. People are still, I mean, and still talk about it. Um, we're still getting bought drinks 18 years on for, um, for that goal. Yeah. Um, and you know, and it was a, a real honour for me to score it, and an honour, you know, a few years ago, it got voted City's, City's greatest ever goal. I think because of the drama and the timing, and that five minutes of injury, to, from 89 minutes being 2-0 down, and then 94 minutes of being 2 all I think everything together is why my goal gets gets the, the attention that it does. And it, to score at Wembley for, for the club, and I do have a genuine affection and love for, and it's got to be that goal. I'm a lucky boy to have scored it, um, but I'll take that.